If you want to tell untold stories, if you want to give voice to the voiceless, you've got to find a language. Which goes for film as well as prose, for documentary as well as autobiography. Use the wrong language and you're dumb and blind. So what if you really want to give voice to the voiceless? Not only does this phrase clearly indicate the importance of documentary in our current society as a means of opening pathways that lead the audience directly to the path less traveled through, but it also perfectly emphasizes what is going on with the world around us. We are living in a different era, an era where everyone carries a camera in their pockets, within their reach 24-7, and in just the amount of time it takes for you to click the screen two or three times, you can start recording. It is quite interesting to see the decline in UFO sightings in the last few years. Could it possibly be due to the fact that the question, did you record it, is being asked more and more often as a way of preserving the absolute and only truth. One must also never forget the notorious pictures or it didn't happen phrase being thrown around in everyone's social media. Not only that, but with the inclusion of live streams at a click away in every single social media app, the thin line between audience and performer has become even more blurred. The amount of media being put out has never been higher. In 2010, more than 13 million hours of video were uploaded to YouTube. That's 48 hours of video uploaded every minute. This resulted in almost eight years of content having been uploaded every single day. In other terms, users uploaded the equivalent of 240,000 full-length films every week. More video was being uploaded to YouTube in one month than the three major television networks in the US had created in the past 60 years. YouTube has opened a new media outlet that isn't nearly as unreachable as mainstream television and cinema. In fact, you can't even begin to compare them. There's literally nothing stopping you from starting a YouTube channel right now and uploading videos for everyone to watch. The problem will always be your competition, meaning you will start out like everyone else has, as nothing more than a single droplet in a massive ocean. The only way one has of succeeding on YouTube seems to be to follow its trends and style. And right now, if your aim is to please the biggest audience, then you must find your way into the world of online video games and esports. Games have become much more complex in these recent years. With the rise and dominance of the internet in our society, competition was heightened to an unimaginable point, spawning communities that formulated and dissected strategies across the globe. Competitive video gaming, or simply esports, has become a global phenomenon. Millions of viewers watch competitions and leagues monthly, while players now train full-time to compete for massive cash prizes. Is the growth of esports ultimately recognizable due to the evolution of new media opportunities that arose in the recent years like YouTube, Vimeo and Twitch? Let us tell the untold stories.